Hey y'all, it's Laura, and I'm back with a Multi-Photo Monday layout on Tuesday <laughs> because I have been fighting pneumonia all last week. And so I was about a week ahead in videos, so it was fine. I could take the week off and relax. But then when it came time to voice over this video, I didn't have a voice and there was lots of coughing and hacking and it was, it was not good. I would not subject you to that if I can avoid it. So I just decided to wait a day till my voice was a little bit more steady and I could actually voice over this video. So I am scrapbooking these two pictures of my daughters. These are Olivia and Sophia, my twins, and they are swinging. And that's a common thing for them to do around here. It's one of their favorite activities when the weather is nice as they go out and get on the swings and uh, just kind of chill together and sometimes they're next to each other sometimes one's swinging and one's doing something else and that's totally fine in this case they were side by side and i thought i would scrapbook this set of swinging pictures for sophia's album you may notice i just scrapbooked a couple of swinging photos a few weeks ago this is similar to that but they are different photos and i want to put these into sophia's album whereas the other set were going into olivia's so now I am breaking out the scraps for this layout. I have nearly killed my Felicity Jane Brie kit, and I'm really, really excited to get it done. And I've used a lot of it for a very important and fun album that I'm working on in a six by eight size, and I'll show that to you when I do the killer kit later this week. And I have a lot of scraps left at this point. I don't have a ton of full size paper. I don't have any complete 12 by 12 pages, but I do have some larger like 12 by four strips. So I'm gonna use some of those, gonna use some of the smaller pieces and I'm going to punch them out and do hearts and circles and create these layered embellishments to build a background. So these are just simply punch shapes. There's a circle in vellum, there's a large heart, a one inch circle, and then a small heart. And then I'm stapling them together because it's the quickest, easiest way to assemble them. And then I will add a gold heart in the center of all of them once they're attached to my layout. That way I can cover up that staple. So this is super quick and easy, really fun way to do a scraps layout. I haven't done one of these in a while. This used to be my go-to type of layout when I had a lot of scraps or had reached the end of a kit. And I haven't done one like this in a while. I've been doing some different types of scraps layouts, but this, this is kind of hearkening back to roughly eight months ago, nine months ago, early in my channel's history. And uh, I really had fun. It was super quick, it was super easy, and these little embellishments look really cool. I tried to keep them very random so that I didn't have a lot of the same pattern. I purposefully only punched two of each of the pattern papers that I had in each shape so that I would have a huge variety to play with. Plus they're double-sided papers, so I was able to uh, get more for my money there <laughs> and just flip over the paper and use the other side if I'd already used that front side. So once I get these all together, I'm going to go ahead and set them up on this blank sheet of paper. And this is just white cardstock, nothing special. And I have these larger pieces. I have this roughly four by 12 strip of gorgeous floral paper that I have been dying to use in a large section like this. And then I have this gorgeous polka dot that I thought would make a really nice border. But as you can see, I have punched out of that polka dot paper and I don't have 12 inch pieces of it. So I have decided to kind of piece them together and we're gonna cover up the gaps with my photos and also with paper piecing the two pieces together because that area is gonna be covered up by my photo. So it really doesn't matter if there's seams or anything like that, you're not gonna see it. I also grabbed some gold washi and I have ripped it in half, and it's going to create this really cool torn effect that I'm new to, but really liking, especially on washi tape. And it's just gonna allow me to have a little bit of an edge to this layout. I think it kind of modernizes the look of this layout because it is very similar to something that I used to do a little less than a year ago. And I think this kind of brings that look that scraps layout look a little bit more to a modern style, like it was intentional. The other way I'm gonna do that is bring in large pops of black, 
which is going to add an edge. It's going to add a little bit of contrast with all these beautiful pastel colors. And that is a great way to modernize what might be a very simple layout otherwise, is to have those big contrasts because that's very, very trendy right now. So I'm adding my little embellishments onto the layout and I'm keeping in mind where I think my photos are gonna go so that I don't put any of the embellishments directly behind there. I don't wanna waste them. And luckily I had just enough. I had made 10 of these and it was just enough to fill that area of the paper. Love it when that works out. I was actually kind of concerned that I might be one short and it turned out just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue those down with my tonic glue pin. And I love this thing. It is so good for this. It is just so quick and easy. No messing with double-sided tape. Just quick glue, stick it down, glue, stick it down. Makes the process so much faster. So I'm gonna cover those up with the little bitty gold hearts that I already have punched. Keep those in a bowl in my desk. And then I'm gonna add some tiny, tiny little gold hearts around those circles as well. Now these photos are special to me because my girls are autistic. If you haven't seen me mention that, heard me mention that on my channel before, they are autistic and they do love to swing. It's a very sensory experience for them. They really, really enjoy it. When they were babies, they hated the swing. Never ever wanted to be in the swing. It really freaked them out. So we never did swings. And when they turned about three or four, they got a little adventurous and really started to try out swings. And now that they're five and they can swing themselves, they love the swing. It's just their favorite place to be. It's just, I think the wind in their hair feels fantastic. That movement is so gentle and they can control the swing. They get to control how fast the swing is going. And I think that that helps too. Now I am gonna add some fun foam behind these photos because I want to lift them up above the embellishments in the back. Notice I'm only putting it in that area between those two embellishments and not on top of them. That way I've got that little bit of difference in height. And now I'm gonna bring in some journaling cards to add my journaling. And I thought about putting just the spread your wings and leaving that as a title. And then I decided, no, I really wanted to bring in some bold black contrast with my title. So I'm gonna go ahead and tuck this little journaling card in that just says details. And I'm gonna tuck that in under my photo and add in some journaling lines with my magical journaling genie. Just a moment. But first, these little chipboard circles came with the Felicity Jane kit and we got a whole bunch of them. I have been using them liberally on my layouts to get them used up because there had to have been like 30 of these things in the kit. And that's a lot, you guys. That's a lot of one embellishment in a kit. And I was kind of surprised by that because Felicity J normally gives you, and they did, there was a big variety of embellishments, but there was a lot of those. And they were rather challenging to use up, but I'm almost there. I have just a few left. And I think, I think I may give up on them because there's probably four or five left and I'm kind of sick of them at this point. So I just added a few around the page just to get them used and to add a little more dimension to that background. Just give it a little bit more interest than just those embellishments. I am gonna add one in next to my photo on the right side, next to my photo on the left side, but kind of tucked behind the journaling card. And one down here with this little butterfly, which is the last butterfly that I have left from the kit. It's so cute. I could make my own, so it's really not a big deal, but yeah, I love butterflies. So now I'm bringing in my title, and these thickers were from the Girl Squad collection a while back, and I think it was Pebbles Girl Squad was the name of the collection, and I really liked this Go Girl, and they had another uh, phrase that was something, something you, so I decided to make it You Go Girl, because they have a blast on the swings. They absolutely love them. And I wanted to have this be uplifting and encouraging. Those are the types of layouts that I put in my kids album. Mostly uplifting, encouraging layouts that just tell the story about things they love, things that they have fun doing, things that they've tried. And even if they didn't succeed, they tried something. And I want those memories to be in their 
album to kind of document their childhood. And that's what I'm saying in the journaling, but how much they love to swing and have at every opportunity, they're outside on the swings. And I think that's important. It's important to add those little details of their lives. So here we've got some Heidi Swap color shine and gold and splattering it everywhere because it's fun. <laughs> There's no real reason, just because. Adding in some pale gold nouveau drops on the butterfly just to cover up the seam where it was attached together with some thread. And then this layout is done. Thank you so much for joining me. Check out the other ladies in the comments below and their multi-photo Monday layout. And until next time, bye.